Well, thank you, Sarah. Wow. Is that fun or what? I mean, it never gets old. It really doesn't, uh, giving away those tickets each and every year. I will say, everybody who's sitting at my table, they didn't even look at their program. They're like, yeah, I'm pretty much guaranteed I'm not going to win at this table. Uh, but anyway, no, look, Jason Van Eaton uh, and our team, our friends at Southwest Airlines, thank you again for making all of that possible. <clears throat> I'm so glad that Rodney Krim mentioned the Business Retention and Expansion Award. The World Trade Center team has enjoyed working with our colleagues in leading the development of this important program. This effort is of particular interest to our work as we reach out to the more than 300 foreign owned companies who call St. Louis home. Companies like Bio Mario, Nestle, and CSI Leasing, just to name a few who are here with us today. Your important investments in St. Louis not only contribute to our economy, but also our culture and our global connectivity. And our team is now expanding this work with the launch of BRE International, a collaboration with Missouri's International Trade and Investment Office, and the U.S. Commercial Service. This team of local, state, and federal export partners work with regional companies looking to expand their sales in international markets. St. Louis manufacturing and service exports total $15.2 billion, supporting more than 90,000 local jobs. These are good quality jobs, According to the International Trade Administration, export-intensive industries, on average, pay 20% higher wages. The data is clear. Communities that encourage trade and foreign investment create more jobs and economic growth than those that don't. In other words, it's business expansion by another method. The BRE International team wants to meet with you and learn more about your company and your global interests. You can contact the team and request an appointment on the World Trade Center St. Louis website. Now, just as we need to support new trade activity and increased investment, we need talent from around the world choosing St. Louis as their home. This year marks a true milestone, the 10th anniversary of the St. Louis Mosaic Project, an initiative of the World Trade Center St. Louis. <laughs> Mosaic's goal is to make St. Louis the fastest growing metro area for immigration by 2025. People remain the most important ingredient to any community. Those who can attract and retain the best and the brightest from all around the globe are better prepared to compete in a global economy dominated by technology and new ideas. With our many partners, we celebrated Mosaic's 10th anniversary and groundbreaking work shaping the future of St. Louis. And next month, all of St. Louis will have a unique opportunity to reinforce this message when local artists and leaders welcome a global symbol of hope and humanity. Little Lamal, an internationally celebrated 12-foot-tall puppet of a Syrian refugee, will arrive in St. Louis on Sunday, October 1st, as part of her epic 6,000-mile journey across the United States. We invite you to join us at the Gateway Arch at 1230 to meet Amal and continue a conversation about immigration and its lasting economic and cultural contributions to this community. In our work, we frequently talk about the three key equal ingredients necessary to be a competitive global city. People, trade, and investment. We need talent from around the world. 
We need our businesses selling their goods and markets across the globe. And we need foreign companies investing in St. Louis. To do this effectively, we need to be connected, people to people. Advancements in technology and communication tools have undoubtedly made it easier for businesses to connect across borders, saving time and resources. But these tools will never be a substitute for real human connections that foster collaboration, ignite innovation, and build enduring trust. We've seen this in the remarkable success of Lufthansa's nonstop flights to Frankfurt, Germany. This community has embraced the opportunity to explore new markets in Europe and around the globe. And the direct route has provided easier access to St. Louis for business and tourism alike. For the World Trade Center, being connected means regularly hosting inbound delegations and leading outbound trade missions. Trade missions are an important tool in economic development. They connect St. Louis businesses to potential customers and build important relationships with foreign companies seeking to expand or invest in our region. Trade missions offer business access to government support, market insights, and networking opportunities that truly can be transformative for their growth. We've organized many around the world over the years. China, Argentina, Ireland, Mexico, and others. And in June of this year, working with our colleagues at the partnership Greater St. Louis and Explore St. Louis, we led a trade mission to London. We organized a high-level delegation, more than 40 economic development, civic, and business leaders celebrating Cardinals baseball in London and St. Louis's presence on the global stage. We spent time reconnecting with Agritech E, a leading innovation network based in Cambridge, where we highlighted St. Louis's leadership in ag technology and plant science research. We met with UK investors, businesses, government leaders, and connectors, showcasing St. Louis's world-class investment and tourism assets. But what made this one special was the unique opportunity to leverage the strength of the St. Louis Cardinals brand and Major League Baseball's London series to promote our city, our teams, and our future. Tremendous regional collaboration led to the success of this mission. One important discussion that we organized was around the power of sport to catalyze and sustain long-term positive economic change and investment. We are grateful that St. Louis's very own 9PBS joined us to document the journey. As their CEO, Amy Shaw, recently told me, their intention was to bring back more than a Cardinals victory. They sought to tell a story that helps change the narrative of our city and our region. The result is the power of the pitch. This program premiered on Monday and is now available to stream on the 9PBS website. We've prepared a short clip for all of you today. Take a look.